Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the fourth lecture on matrix algebra. In this lecture, we will discuss about the trace of a matrix. So let's begin. The definition states, the trace of a matrix is the sum of the elements of a square matrix A which are lying on the principal diagonal. It is generally denoted by trace of A. Fine. So if we have a, a square matrix of order n cross n, generally denoted by A11, A12, A1n and so on. So the trace of the matrix will be the sum of the entries in the diagonal, the principal diagonal that is A11, A22, similarly A33 and so on A, N, N. So that is the trace of a matrix. For example, if we have a 3 cross 3 matrix A, so the trace of this matrix is nothing but the sum of the diagonal entries. That is 1 plus 1 plus 5, which is 7. So that is how we find out the trace of any matrix. So now let's discuss some properties and results. First property states, trace of A is always equals to trace of A transpose. So we can verify this result using a 3 cross 3 matrix. So in general, if we take A to be A11, A12, A13, second row A21, A22, A23 and the third row A31, A32 and A33. So this is a 3 cross 3 matrix. Now we take the transpose of this matrix. We know that the transpose of matrix is nothing but interchanging the rows into columns and the columns into rows. So this is the transpose of the matrix. Now clearly the trace of the matrix A is A11 plus A22 plus A33. And similarly the trace of A transpose is also A11, A22 plus A33. So trace pe koi bhi fark nahi pada hamara. चाहे आप ट्रेस निकाल लो ए का चाहे आप ट्रेस निकाल लो ए ट्रांसपोज का सो द प्रॉपर्टी इज सिमिलर ट्रेस ऑफ ए नीड नॉट बी इक्वल टू ट्रेस ऑफ ए ट्रॉन्जुकेट व्हाट इज अ ट्रॉन्जुकेट ट्रॉन्जुकेट इज द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ए कॉन्जुकेट ऑफ ए सो लेट्स कंसीडर एग्जांपल फॉर दिस इफ वी टेक अ 2 क्रॉस 2 मैट्रिक्स ए विद द कॉम्प्लेक्स एंट्रीज व्हिच आर i 0 1 एंड 2i नाउ इफ वी टेक द ए ट्रॉन्जुकेट व्हिच इज जस्ट टेक द कॉन्जुकेट ऑफ ऑल द एलिमेंट्स so i will get interchanged to minus i 0 will remain with 0 itself 1 will remain 1 and 2 i will get changed to minus 2 i now you take the transpose of this matrix fine so the transpose of this matrix is nothing but minus i 1 0 and minus 2 i now the trace of a is i plus 2 i that is 3 i but the trace of a conjugate is minus 3 i fine so in general these this need not be equal now few more properties on the trace that is trace of a plus b is always equal to trace of a plus trace of b similarly trace of a minus b is always equal to trace of a minus trace of b and trace of constant time a is equal to constant times trace of a where c is any scalar now the trace of a b need not be equal to trace of a into trace of b let's verify this by a counter example now if we consider a to be a 2 cross 2 matrix and b also to be a 2 cross 2 matrix now a into b is 0, 0, 2. Fine. And the trace of this matrix will be the sum of the diagonal entries that is 2 plus 2 which is 4. But if you calculate the trace of a which is 2 plus 2, 4. And the trace of b which is 1 plus 1 that is 2 and 4 into 2 that is 8. So clearly trace of a b is not equal to trace of a into trace of b. The sixth property states that Trace of AB is always equal to trace of BA. Or if we have three matrices, trace of ABC that is always equal to trace of BCA that is always equal to the trace of CAB. Fine. So, we will cyclic order. A is B, B is C. Then, you will call B to C to A. Fine. Or you will call CAB. Okay. So, cycle you will maintain. But, if you say trace of ABC, that is equal to trace of A C B that is not true. Fine. So if you go cyclic, then the trace will be the same. Kya aegi, bara bara aegi. So this is one of the important properties. Fine. So the seventh property states that trace of A B whole power K is equal to trace of B A whole power K. Where K can be any positive integer. But trace of A B whole power K need not be equal to trace of A power K into B power K. Fine. And one of the most important property that is Trace of A transpose into B is equals to trace of A B transpose. So this is very important. Let me prove this. The so trace of A transpose B 
so we know that from the above properties we have studied that if you calculate the trace of a or you calculate the trace of a transpose that comes out to be equal from the property one so what i do is i use that property trace of a transpose b just to take the transpose of this fine because the trace will be equal in both of the cases now as we have studied in the previous video lecture about the properties of trans the reversal law holds in case of transpose of a matrix so a transpose b whole power transpose that will be equal to b transpose into a transpose whole transpose now again we have studied another property that a transpose whole transpose is nothing but a so this comes out to be a and this comes out to be b transpose and also we know that abhi humne upar wali property mein bhi discuss kara hai trace of ab is always equal to trace of ba so just apply that property here and you will be getting trace of ab transpose so that is a proof of its property so of ninth property that trace of a transpose into a is always equal to trace of a into a transpose that is the sum of the squares of all the entries of a fine so i can verify this property using a 2 cross 2 matrix so let's consider a 2 cross 2 matrix with the entries a11 a12 a21 and 22 so find the transpose of this matrix fine now you just multiply a into a transpose so on multiplying you will be getting this matrix fine now if you want to find the trace of this matrix that will be the sum of the diagonal entries so you can easily see this the diagonal entries are nothing but a11 square plus a12 square plus a21 square plus a22 square so that is what the property nine states the trace of a transpose into a that is obviously equal to a into a transpose from the previous properties but the most important thing here is this is equal to the sum of the squares of all the entries of a so if you get some question in which it has used a transpose into a just simply take the squares of all the entries and just add them up in in order to find the trace and the last property basically the 10th property you can say is a conclusion a corollary from the 9th property that the trace of a transpose into a is always positive because since we have proved here that it is the square of all the terms so this is always greater than equal to 0 for any real matrix a fine and when this thing will be zero if and only if a is zero so that is the only possible case fine so let's discuss a problem now which is based on trace of the matrix this problem has appeared in csir net june 2015 for 3 marks find the single correct option is there so let a and b be n cross n matrix which of the following statement is true and that equates trace of a square b square so let's find out so trace of a square b square ab main isko likh sakta hu trace of a square ko main likh sakta hu a into a b square ko main likh sakta hu b into b fine so ab aapko pata hai cycle mein hum chalte hain a b c ka nikal lo trace ya b c a ka nikal lo that is always the same fine so that is the property which i am using up here so just interchange this a to the last position to aapke paas ye cheez aa jayegi a double b into a now what is b into b that is b square so this is a b square into a that is the trace and you can see that this is the second option so this is all about the trace of matrix in the upcoming video i will discuss about the rank of a matrix thanks for watching for more such videos subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and for more personalized tutorials you may visit our website nochop academy which i have mentioned in the description box thanks